Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we are studying the sieve of Eratosthenes and prime factorization. And the sieve of Eratosthenes is basically where we write a number chart. This time it is a hundred chart. And we're going to X out all the numbers that are not primes. And then what we are left, what we have left is prime numbers. And the Xing out or the sieving is done in this manner. I'll start here with the number two. Two is prime. But I want to cross out all the multiples of two, all the even numbers, because they cannot be primes. So I'll just cross them out, all the even numbers. Now I go to 3. Now 3 is prime, I'm going to leave it there, but I'm going to cross out all multiples of 3, okay? In other words, I just think of a multiplication table of 3 and go along and cross out 6, well it's already crossed out, and then 9, then 12, 15, 18, 21, and so on. Ninety-three, ninety-six, and ninety-nine. All the multiples of three are now crossed out. Next one comes four. But all multiples of four are already crossed out when I went through the even numbers. Then five. I will leave five. It is prime. But I will cross out all multiples of five, which are these here and these here are already crossed out. So just these here in this column. That was quick. Then I leave seven. It is prime, but I check out all the multiples of 7. I cross them out. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42. This one. 49, Ninety-eight. Now let's look at number one just real quick. In modern mathematics, number one is not considered prime, so I'll cross it out too. In times past, it has been sometimes considered a prime, so some people are still kind of debating about it. But in today's mathematics, it is not listed as prime. And now, I want to briefly explain why I do not have to go through multiples of 11, multiples of 13, multiples of 17, and so on, on the chart. For example, let's just say that there was still a number that was a multiple of 13 that I didn't yet cross out. Could there be one such number? If there was, for example, 13 times 5, 13 times 7, one of those, it was still on the chart. I would have already gone through that and crossed it out when I went through 5 and 7. Multiples of 7, multiples of 5, okay? The only possible way that there would be a multiple of 13 uncrossed here would be if it was 13 times 11 or 13 times 12, 13 times 14, 13 times a number bigger than 10, okay? So that's not possible. Therefore, it is enough to go through numbers 1, through 10 and cross out the multiples and then that leaves you primes.